Smash that like button for me, okay? We got a couple quick last stories for you. We got Kanye West, 2 Chains, and 2 Chains album with LeBron. Uh, then we got Oprah. She's quarterbacking a Michael Jackson cancellation. And then we got Soulja Boy and Mia Riley. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Spread a little love. It's free to hit the like button. And it's like, you know, showing some love. And then the universe gives you love back, which is a good luck. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So why not? You know, anyways, guys. So we got, let's do, where are we going to start with this one? Let's start with uh, 2 Chains and LeBron. Why is LeBron, uh, why is LeBron <laughs> executive producing uh, Two Chains album. Is that why it's so bad? Is that why we? Is that who we got to blame? The vibe is off. Like it had a lot of potential, but it didn't follow through. If that makes sense to you, like a couple songs caught me, and then all of a sudden they just the vibe was off. You know, uh, he was supposed to have Kanye in the album, and he quoted saying, "Originally Pharrell did the beat, and he had a hook on it, and I didn't like the hook." So then he said, also, Kendrick did another hook on it. At first, I didn't really like the hook. At what point LeBron, LeBron takes over storytelling for a mere second before 2 Chains injecting was again, evoking Kanye West started the sense that Kanye didn't want to be on it. So I took him off. And then he wanted to. I ain't going back and forth with that. So he didn't want him on it. I I don't know what's going on with that. So what, what... I don't get it, man. Like, 2 Chains is like... Maybe he's lost his mind at this point. I don't know. Because, you know, I really liked 2 Chains music in the beginning. When he became when he was Titty Boy, then he went into 2 Chains. I used to work with him then. You know, his music was good for a few years. And then it got crazy, man. Like, I don't know. I think, to me, the last good thing was the Trapavelli continuation that he just dropped recently. There was a couple songs on there. There's a couple songs in here, but like LeBron and the album, then that that whole thing with him and LeBron in studio and LeBron's like, this one needs a feature, bro. It's like, yo, bro, LeBron is a basketball star, man. Let him be that, okay? You're not supposed to be executive producing your album. I mean, this is your career. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm just not feeling the 2 Chains album. I like 2 Chains, and I'm not saying he's trash it's just that this isn't it you know uh this is a miss so go again and two chains has it in them to make amazing music i know that so yeah i'm not completely hating on this uh i just don't like this project i mean there's nothing wrong with it then we got okay so we got nia riley reacting to soldier boy soldier boy kind of attacked her on that uh that married hip hop or something show loving hip I don't know whatever that show is right now but this is where you go when it's pretty much over and Nia Riley and him are on there he said I, she said I would never fake any form of an abusive relationship on TV I'm not an actress and that shit's not cute he was not concerned about a damn phone he was mad that I was talking to talking to him how he talks to me and he tried to attack me then remembered them cameras were there I don't know. Soulja Boy has a lot of issues. I think he has, like, codeine rage. Then, lastly, we got Oprah. She's trying to cancel Michael Jackson? Why? Why is she so obsessed with canceling Michael Jackson now? Oprah Magazine put out, It's time to say goodbye to Michael Jackson one last time. And Oprah Magazine says, Up until a few days ago, OprahMag.com's digital director, Ariana Gab, was a Michael Jackson defender and had a go-to lines about separating the artist from the man and how there was never any real proof he abused children. But then Oprah, in Leaving Neverland, finally convinced her to let go of the King of Pop. Her aha moment, Leaving Neverland is much bigger than Michael Jackson. It's bigger than Michael Jackson's fans, bigger than defending the soundtrack to your childhood. Instead, It's about the millions of people in this world who never got to have a childhood because of the sexual abuse they experienced before their young brains could even develop to go to know what was occurring. Ah, I mean, this is a hard stance Oprah's taking, and I think Michael Jackson was, wasn't he not guilty in court? But now he's he's been dead for a decade, and Oprah decides to, this is like a Hail Mary to save the Oprah network? I don't know what's going on. 
and Oprah's hosting this. I don't know, man. I mean, this is kind of weird. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the whole canceling thing. I mean, if he did it, it's disgusting. But I don't, I don't... He's dead. You know, I just don't know. Like, he can't pay for the crimes now. So I don't, that's why I don't get about it. That's what I really don't get about it. You know, he's dead. That's what the part that bothers me right now. Why are you trying to ruin his legacy when he's dead? You know, I understand if there are victims and everything, but he's dead, you know? So I don't even know how to feel about this right now, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, we all love Michael Jackson, you know? I don't know. Someone convince me in the comments, you know? I'm, I'm open to talking about that because uh, it's kind of weird, you know? Like, I would need to see proof, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, guys, and I know I keep saying I don't know, but that's how baffled I am that Oprah's quarterbacking this. It just seems a little weird. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.